Jay Sano, without intro music. Jay Sano, with intro music. Intro music remix. Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Jeff again, coming to you from the Minecraft server. Uh, taking a break from getting things cleaned up around the hospital in order to look for more iron, as well as satisfy uh, some people who want me to do some caving, as well as satisfy myself, because I love to do some caving. So, I went searching around my base, kind of, that island that my base is on. It's not really an island, I guess. Oh, that was easy. Uh, I went searching around there. And just started digging down after a while because I figured, ooh, gold. I figured there's got to be some some places still that haven't been explored. And lo and behold, I found this. Iron is definitely the number one item that I'm going for right now. But especially seeing that I'm apparently down far enough to be at the gold level, it would mean I'm at the diamond level as well. I did not bring any potions with me, I just realized. Luckily, I'm not terribly far from my house. But I do need to be careful because of things like this. Yep. Oh, that's a bat. Crap, that's a bat. Can I get in there and get this thing? Oh, my God. Get this thing before it spins. Thank you. Whew. I'm uh, quite impressed that I was able to to do that and kind of scared all at the exact same time. But either way, well, I forgot that I can water those things as well. Either way, I'm going to collect the railroad as well because a rail is always a good thing. I am kind of afraid that there's more of these evil spiders around. Because I hear them everywhere, and I'm just unsure of exactly where they're at. So, we're just going to be careful. I'll take that for... Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, what can I drop? I didn't realize I was running this low on, on room. I definitely don't need those. I definitely don't need that. Let's grab this. I mean, the bread's not bad to grab either. I don't need pumpkin seeds. I got plenty of those. I want to... Clear out some more of this inventory, though. What don't I need? I brought way too much stuff with me for this excursion. And I'm not happy about it. Because I kind of want this minecart as well. Uh, let's get rid of the flint. Get rid of the gunpowder. There we go. I'll do something like that. But now I need this emerald. Ugh. I've really... Oh, I should have... Shoot, I should have silk touched that thing. So I could uh, fortune it later. And I forgot to... But what are you going to do? I don't need the gravel either. How's that? So now I just need to kind of be careful. I don't really want to... There we go. Let's clean out a lot of this stuff if I can. Yay. Oops. Okay. So sadly... It looks like this part up here has been explored. Ooh, there's iron and stuff down there, though. Doesn't mean they took all the good stuff, though, because obviously everybody might not be looking. Wow. Yeah, this uh, this might still be a, little, a good little area to go to. I got to silk touch this, but again, that means I got to get rid of something, get rid of that lever. Silk touch this. I wish I had done that to the other one. Coal is not a big deal to me right now. Um, do I want to go this way still? Find out what's over here. There's another minecart over there in the water. That's really strange looking. Um, let's block off this lava. Let it dissipate for a minute. Redstone is actually not something that I need too much of. Uh, I would love to just grab the redstone. I know my inventory is running low, though, and I don't have that much of a need for it because I have plenty of it at home. 
And I mean by plenty, like when Anders did one of those initial pranks on me, um, where he redstoned up my uh, base, he left like, I mean, redstone blocks for days. So I have so much redstone. And like I said, granted, I would love to grab it all, but I know that I'm running a little bit low. What I mean, what do I have that I don't need? I obviously don't need all this. Maybe I'll just grab this redstone anyway. I'm going to silk touch it as well so I can get even more out of it back at base. Oh my god, there's so much redstone. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, we'll take that. So, just got back from uh, Michigan a couple days ago. I was there. I just went in there for two days to get some skiing in to get enough hours in for the patrol. And I was there for... Uh, two, two days I think I was in there for. I spent 20 hours of those two days on the ski hill. It was pretty nice. Um, it was wonderful skiing. I was just actually talking to, to B-dubs he's on right now. I was just talking to him about the weather in Michigan. They still have so much snow. It's crazy, um, but it's good crazy. And here's my iron as well. Too bad redstone blocks don't work for the beacon. I mean, I, I know that would just make beacons like not worth the hassle uh, that they currently are uh, and therefore get rid of a, a fun feature of the game for a lot. Oh my God, some diamonds, some iron. This is like the greatest thing ever. I kind of want you as well. It's always nice to find diamonds just scattered into a chest. We are going to kill you. Take the chest. I'll take the minecarts. Well, minecarts are, they're just expensive to make because they, you know, cost iron. And when I'm trying to save iron the way that I am, it's kind of important to make sure that I get a hold of. Oh, crap. I actually don't know how to do this. Especially since I just took the blocks off my bar that I'm needing. Okay, I got that. I was not that careful in looking behind me, though amazingly nothing there. Do I have any coal on me? I do not. I'm going to need to actually start grabbing some of the coal just to make some more torches. Luckily, I have a pretty kick-ass sword and a pretty kick-ass bow right now, so it's not too difficult to get rid of a lot of these enemies. Well, that's a dead end. That kind of is annoying. There's definitely lava right there. And, of course, there's absolutely zero coal sitting around there, which is kind of weird. Okay, I get all that stuff. Yeah, I definitely need to go back and grab some of this coal that I left behind. Oh, it was kind of funny flying uh, back into Michigan because I've talked before how I've been flying southwest a lot lately. And that's because I got a lot of points with southwest. I actually like southwest. They have their whole you know, seating thing that I've talked about before. It's like a first come first serve seating. And I'm kind of indifferent about that. It's a little bit back and forth to me. But that being the case, it's, um, that guy sounds super close to me and it kind of scares me. What can I do here and combine? I can't really combine much, but I can get rid of stuff. And I just don't know what to get rid of. I really want that sand still. I, though I have a decent amount of it. I don't know why I brought that many bones with me. Shovels. I only have the one. Well, hell. Let's throw out. Throw out the bread. No, not that. Okay, just temporarily. We'll come get. We'll come get it later. Uh, but there is. So they do the whole open seating thing where you, you know, you have a oh, crap. You have a. Uh, oh shoot. That's fine. A ticket that gives you like an A, B, C, D. Well, I don't think there's D, A, B, or C, and it's the lineup that you or the order that you get to line up in in order to go get your your seat on the plane. And I was A26 on the way back, and it was really funny to me because as I'm going, I see this guy, um, and, and 26 is like, they, they split it into fives, so it's like, 
one through five, five through 10, 10 through 15, et cetera. So you, you know, know where you're at in the order of things. And this guy, I was 26. So I'm the first guy that's supposed to be behind the pole that starts, you know, 26 through 30. And this guy, he just walks right up and he like basically hugs the pole. And you can tell that he knows he's not supposed to be there because he's like glancing around with these weird like eyes. <laughs> weird eyes. No, he's just glancing around kind of like a, <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to be in this spot right now, but I am anyway. And I really don't care if one guy gets on the plane in front of me, but he knows that his boarding order is not that order. So I kind of was like, okay, what can I do here? I'm going to make this thing a little bit more obvious that he's not supposed to be here. So I kind of, I just stood up and I walked next to him. And I stood there and I glanced down at his ticket and I see that it's A27. So he's not even that far off. He's like one person uh, behind me. And like I said, I really don't care at this point. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to see what I can do to make him like realize that he's not supposed to be there. So I moved next to him. Moved in such a way to make sure that he could see my ticket. I kind of like held it toward him to make sure the A26 was like shown in his face. And I watched him glance down at my ticket and immediately like look back up, look away like he didn't see anything. And then uh, just continue waiting there in line. And I thought it was pretty funny just because, you know, it's it, it's obviously you're not supposed to be there, but you're going to stand there anyway. I want to get up here. Making sure that's going to be there. And I want to... No, 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 I didn't want that. I wanted to... I mean, is this coming down from everywhere? Is it just coming down from that one spot? I apparently just knocked my volume all the way down. I was wondering why I didn't hear anything when I saw that it said zero on the screen. I don't know if that shows up in the video for you guys, but it's my little Windows meter that's showing me what's going on. I'm going to try to find out. Okay, so there's obsidian up there. Uh, I want to get a layer above then if I can. Because that means that there's more cave up here. I just got to be really careful because I know that there's obviously lava up in this area. I think there was actually a lot more cave to explore. You know what? Where I came from, there was a lot more cave to explore. That is not where I came from, apparently. It must be down this way. Oh, and thank you guys for the suggestions related to the beach. Um, many people... Oh, there's some right there. Sway. Many people suggested to me that I have B-dubs build my palm trees for me. Okay, that's a great idea uh, because I know B-dubs is a fantastic builder and all. Ooh, that was scary. He's a fantastic builder and all, but I'm trying to kind of finish it on my own. I mean, thus far, I've had some people help me as in giving me cobble. That's the extent of the help at the hospital thus far. I, oh, excuse me. And Seth Bling giving me the beacon, which, I, oh, man, it reminds me. I still got to dedicate that area to Seth Bling. I got that one area dedicated to Good. I mean, the, the emergency department's dedicated to Good. The inpatient area. No, no, no. Excuse me. The inpatient area is dedicated to Good. The emergency department's going to be dedicated to Seth Bling. And I haven't yet done that yet. Okay, I hear evil spiders, and it's kind of scary to me. And they're not that way. Where are they? They must be above, which is okay with me. It keeps them out of, out of my way. Uh, so I still have to do that, but I haven't, but the long story, I haven't gotten help, much help with the hospital on the building aspects of it itself. And actually I would have taken people up on that had it been a couple weeks ago when I really was having a tough time getting anything to look right with the hospital because I'm not a builder at all. I, I mean, I build things. I'm just not good at it. I don't have that, that look for aesthetically pleasing, um, you know, the, the way to design things, the color schemes, etc. I don't have that, that eye. And I know I don't have that eye. Whenever I do anything, like all my intros and stuff have been made for me by other people. Well, I can't say that. The last one I actually uh, did myself, but it's not because I created it. It's because I utilized um, 
intros that you can purchase that are out there that you can modify and put different pictures and stuff in. So, I mean, I felt a little good just about doing that because <laughs> I'm not a good artist by any means. Uh, my business cards, my graphics, all that stuff that I use has been created by other people. Um, and by the way, the latest intro that I have is fantastic. I can't get enough of that intro. It is so good. I'm so happy that it was made for me and the credit is all somebody else's. It's not mine. Granted, I am the one saying most of the things in there because it was that's that's where the hilarity of it comes from is it was things taken from me put into an awesome like an awesome song which I, I love it. I think it's like the greatest thing ever. Um, but anyways, my, my whole point was that I I would have taken people up on that offer had it been... Okay, this is actually kind of good because these guys are like stuck. Can I actually get to this? This is not a Bane of Arthropods, but it works pretty well. The water is actually perfect in here because it's stopping these guys I think it's going to stop these guys from getting to me and if I put that there do I have enough oh my god I got rid of it I can't quite reach through here there we go yeah, I definitely would have taken people up on that offer had I still been having problems but I feel like I'm making some really good progress with it and I'm I'm extremely happy with the way that the hospital is turning out. So I'm kind I want to get it finished up on my own and feel good about it. I know there's a guy right up here. Come on. Do you not really exist right there? You are going to hit me. Holy crap. There's a lot of you guys. Is there another nest up here or I think there is another nest up there I really want to be able to oh crap 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 okay I mean while I'm poisoned I can't get I can't it can't get worse Jesus Jesus. Okay, it can get worse. It can get worse. I was wrong. I was wrong. It's worse. <laughs> ah. And since I did not bring anything with me, I'm going to have to vacate back to the house. Urgh. That was dumb. I really want to get down there and get that finished off, too. Um, either way, long story short, I'm not an artist. I want to finish it off on my own, though. I've been doing pretty good with it. Uh, I definitely, I, I on the way out of here, I'll tell you, I was in a, um, uh, a job before being a computer engineering job. And I was in this job, and they asked me to design, like, a website for them. So I said, you know, I can give you all the, the designing stuff for it. I said, so you're going to have to get somebody else to make it look good. I said, what do you mean? I said, I'm, you know, not, I don't have the eye to make things look good. I can design all your functionality to it. If you need some, you know, databases programmed, et cetera, et cetera, some great code written so that I can do all that, but somebody else needs to put it together in a visually pleasing way. And I said, okay, you know, one of these other guys is a, you know, a graphic artist do I have 64 of these guys already? I do. That's pretty awesome. Uh, well, he goes, one of these guys is a, a graphic artist. Um, talk to him. I, I don't remember what his name was, but I said, talk to him and uh, connect with him. And you guys can work together on this. And I said, sweet. Sounds good. So talk to him for a minute. And he literally, oh man, I want to go down there. He literally gives me all these like colored swatches. I don't know if you know what like swatches are when you're like painting stuff and you know you get all the the flip colors to see how everything looks, how good is it all, you know. So he gives me the the colored swatches and says, "Okay, find a color scheme that looks good 
put two of these together, find a color scheme that looks good. And I'm like, um, okay. So I like randomly chose two colors I thought looked good. And he's like, no, 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 no. That doesn't look good at all. I'm like, that's why I asked you to do this. I was like, because I can't figure this stuff out. And he literally responded to me. He goes, what do you mean? I said, I don't have the eye for this stuff. He goes, no, everybody has the eye for this stuff. You just don't want to have the eye for this. I'm like, no, really? I'm not an artist. I don't have the eye for this stuff. Everybody has the eye for this stuff. So whatever. Like, I don't, if people actually think that, that's crap. Like, I got it. I give artists so much credit because of the fact that what they do is amazing. I can't do that. I'm hiding in a hole because I it's dark and I have a half a heart and I need to make it home. Um, so I'm going to wait till daylight and go. But yeah, I can't do that. Artists, you guys are freaking awesome. You could definitely got something that I don't have. And I acknowledge that without doubt. Like, that's why I have a buddy of mine. He's a graphic artist. I have him design a lot of my stuff visually for me. We've worked on websites together before. I do all the background programming. He does all the visual aspects of it. Because I can't do that. He's fantastic with it, though. I know that. Put our skills together and we make something good. Alone? I got crap for you. <laughs> I mean, that's really all there is to it. But anyways, this video is going on so for too long now. I'm going to end this video since I'm stuck here in a hole. Make it back home. I will see you guys next time.